Sarad, you mentioned about one of the term that is RFP. So I want to explain what is RFP because you and me can understand, most of the engineer can understand, but I want to understand in more detail. So participant can get benefited on that. What is RFP and what information technically we should fill in the RFP to get the deal? Now coming back to the RFP, whenever uh, uh, let's say a customer, a bank mm -hmm. uh, wants to onboard a new firewall, uh, on board a new data security solution or a new SIM solution, kind of SOC solution, mm -hmm. or a new antivirus. And they want to onboard the best and uh, most cost-effective solution from the open market. They just don't want to favor any particular vendor. Mm -hmm. They want best features. They want to align with the best organization out there at a specific cost competitive cost bidding you can say so this is a more uh, formal form of bidding where uh, first an rfp is floated from by that bank that we need an antivirus along with firewall along with network switches routers and these many people will be there whom you have to support these many firewalls required and uh, you have to not just give us solution but along with that you have to give us uh, five years support and 15 resources who are going to manage this uh, 15 firewalls and 2000 endpoint with antivirus solution so this is all written in detail in that rfp request for proposal document okay. and uh, it has to be the specific format whichever client asked for so where it, it doesn't depend on us me or you or anyone and how they want to respond in 99 percent of the chances client always gives the rfp format that in this format or in this table or in this way you have to give the response mm -hmm.